Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Today we've got an Exodus special focusing on my favorite Exodus riffs, if you will. There's so many to choose from, but it's a Gary Holt show and look, amazing riff writer, amazing musician and totally underrated act in my opinion. I love these guys, but uh, anyway, we'll just get on to it. Uh, so for the gear I'm using today, apart from my Dave Mustaine Dean VMNT tuned to D standard, I've got Logic Pro running and I'm using the Fortin Nameless Suite from Neural DSP. Uh, in the description, I'll make sure I have links for all my presets covering Exodus that I've done over the years from this one, uh, as well as the Archetype Nolly, as well as uh, Amplitude 3 and 4, I believe. So I'll just put everything down that I've ever done with Exodus. It's super aggressive tone. I love the guitar tone that Gary's always got. In the early days, he had his Marshall JCM 800s, the uh, 8687 models, I believe. As far as I'm aware, he used the Boss SD1. Later on, he had those amps modded by Todd Langer, a famous modder from the Bay Area scene. And uh, a lot of people followed suit. It was a really popular mod that he, that Gary came up with, with Todd. He used those amps, but until Tempo of the Damned, he recorded with Andy Snape. Uh, Andy and Gary figured that those amps were just too fizzy, like there was too much noise. And so they experimented with others and came up with the PV Triple X. So Gary used the PV Triple X on the following recordings for the Tempo, the Shovel Headed, and Atrocity A. Uh, Atrocity A and Shovel were very similarly recorded, though uh, Gary did say that he swapped out the tubes to be 606 tubes. Oh, and he ran a Presonus EQ in front of it. And that's pretty much the only difference, he said, from going from Shovel to Atrocity. And then going on to Atrocity B, or the Exhibit B, he went to the Engel Savage 120. In that time, I know Gary did experiment with a lot of other amps from 5150s. He had uh, gear from the Randalls, like the MTS. And uh, eventually on the last album, Blood In, Blood Out, they used a, uh, a Kemper Profiler. Since then, I have no idea, but... Um, as far as all Gary's guitars over the years and things, my favorite by far is um, Bernie Rico Vixen, that lime green one he, that he had. Uh, that stood out to me as like, that's just like James Hetfield's Explorer, you know, that that's how, that's how I feel. But anyway, sorry to bore you all. I thought I'd just discuss that to start with. All right, so first riff I can think of is War Is My Shepherd of Tempo of the Damned. <laughs> Really cool riff. I like that first part. It's got that slur, almost like a Pantera style riff. But uh, anyway, next, uh, this one goes back to the early days of Blood In, Blood Out. But I was a real fan of Let There Be Blood when it came out, like that the revamp. I thought that was really cool. Some people didn't like it. I did. But uh, anyway, this one's the midsection of Deliver Us to Evil. <laughs> And uh, I really liked that one. I just thought it was uh, cool chord structures, cool riffs. It's not the fastest one, but it's very cool. Great chords. Uh, so next brings us to Children of a Worthless God. This is one of my favorite songs of all time by Exodus. A fantastic solo and uh, really cool riff to suit. So it's off the Atrocity A album. So here goes. <laughs> Uh, guitar too. Very 
very cool. I love the guitar two part. Um, just hearing it, it, it's on the eighth, 11 and 12. Like, But mixed with guitar one, it just sounds killer. Uh, so this next riff is the title track from Fabulous Disaster album. Uh, really cool riff. Uh, it's one of those ones that if you're not shown how to play it, you'll never play it correctly, I guess. But uh, luckily Gary did a video on it a few years back. But here you goes. <laughs> And you get the idea. Very cool riff. Um, chunky. He did it in E standard back in the day. That was using that was using his modded Marshall, I believe. Uh, next brings us to Karma's Messenger off the shovel headed kill machine. And I, it's just the verse riff from it, but I thought it was really cool. <laughs> Yeah, super cool riff. You notice that a lot of these riffs just tend to evolve naturally and you just want to keep playing them and go into the next riff and next riff. But really, they're, uh, they're just really great to play. A lot of fun, you know. If you're having fun and playing and you're doing the right thing. So that's all that I know when I'm playing guitar. I just love to have fun, you know. This next riff is really fun to play. It's super easy to play and uh, sounds great too. So it's Blacklist off Tempo of the Damned. <laughs> And that's another one like Funeral Hymn. You just want to keep on chugging it. Like it's just, it's just a really cool riff that sounds. Like and that whole uh, like the open, like the open chord just to the F and the E and the B flat. Best chords in metal in my opinion. Any of those, you can't go wrong. It's the cornerstone of every metal riff. Uh, this next one is a super iconic riff of Bonded by Blood. It's a lesson in violence. <laughs> And again, you just want to keep playing. Really cool. A lot of fun. Uh, this next one, it comes from a favorite song off the Exhibit B album, and it is Nanking. <laughs> I love that part later on. Thank you. 
I love that song. It's a really cool song. Great solo. Um, and the last one. And you forgot Pleasures of the Flesh, you f***ing idiot. <laughs> Ah, uh, so sadly that brings us to our last riff for this video. I wish I could just keep pulling riffs out forever, but uh, this is Funeral Hymn. I just love the way this whole chord structure just goes around. It's slow, but it's fast at the same time. It's got some really hard riffs in the song. Uh, super cool guitar solo trade-off that Lee Altus and Gary were doing. Um, and such an aggressive tone. Like This just brings out the tone in all the amps. So uh, here goes. Uh, so there you have it guys thanks very much for tuning in i really had a great time doing this exodus special with you um he always had such a great sound in all the albums but i really loved the most the the albums that were produced by andy sneep i thought i, th I still think he's one of the best metal mixing producers out there all his everything he's done just sounds so great you know he's he's done megadeth and testament and uh overkill Everything he's done with Exodus, I really liked. And uh, starting with the tempo of the Damned. Um, the earlier albums are, are great albums, don't get me wrong. But I just, I came into Exodus a little bit later. And uh, those albums were the ones that really excited me. Especially the Atrocity A. Like the, the starting with a call to arms, that whole riff there. I'm still going with riffs. <laughs> that was just such a cool opening to an album and uh all those songs just sort of flowed in and, and it just ingrained into me it's one of my favorite metal albums of all time so uh so that's it from me thank you so much for tuning in i really enjoyed making this today and hopefully I haven't left anything out. So uh, anyway, take care. I'll see you next week. Bye.